The doors to the residence were wide open. The lights were on throughout the house. Personal belongings were still in the residence. Uh, Becky's personal identification, credit cards, cash, her personal cell phone was still there. Items that normally if someone would leave, they'd take with them. We did an initial walk through the residence, uh, going into the residence, just observing what evidence uh, was in plain view. We were able to, to observe that. Uh, we hadn't started collecting anything yet. Then we backed out of the residence. We took overall photographs of the exterior and interior of the house. Um, and then we started on the exterior of the house, processing any evidence. There were numerous cigarette butts outside the residence. Uh, we were advised that um, Rusty and Rebecca Porter were not smokers, um, so that raises some suspicion to us. However, there were numerous cigarette butts outside the residence. Collected the uh, cigarette butts, we processed their vehicle that was parked outside the residence. And then we continued on into the house, looking for any signs of forced entry to the doors um, or anything like that. As we walked through the residence, in the master bedroom, uh, the mattress, the top mattress, was tilted a little bit off the bed. And then there was some clothing on the floor that had bleach stains on them. Based on the observations that I made, it was very concerning uh, that some type of um, crime had possibly been committed. Uh, mainly because the house was wide open at such a late hour, no one was at home. And with a vehicle being left in the driveway, it was their only vehicle with the keys in the ignition. And with the presence of their personal property still being present, it looked like they were either in a hurry to leave the residence or they were taken against their will. It was very alarming, uh, considering that these type of incidents don't occur that commonly. <laughs> Thank you.